let me tell you, this was a serious bitch to read. Uh, for my subscribers that don't know, I just had eye surgery, so, you know, I'm fucking blind right now. I've got fuzzy eyes, I've got double vision. I mean, I'm squinting. <laughs> it's horrible. I did mention it in a Feed the Beast episode, and, uh, you know, I know not a lot of my subscribers watch that, so I understand why you guys don't know. Screw you guys for not caring! No, I'm just messing with you. But, um, yeah, this Naruto episode... Well, for first of all, it was fucking hard to read for me, so that automatically dulled it down a bit. But this episode, man, I, I watched for Neverworld's um, review on it, like what he thought of it, and I also talked to my girlfriend what she thought of it, and for Neverworld refers to it as the best manga chapter of the year, and my girlfriend, she really liked it as well. And I'm sitting here like, I'm the only person in the world who fucking hates this chapter. Like, I, I felt insulted by it, to be honest. So, uh, when you see this video come up, you're going to notice it has one dislike, at least. And you're going to know that that one dislike was me. I disliked my own video. Because you know you know how I roll. I uh, do that thing where it's like, if you like the, oh, the um, manga, the chapter, you like the video. If you disliked it, you dislike the video. And you can just, like, leave your comments about what you thought and shit down in the comments. Fuck, I'm making no sense. I'm on drugs, by the way. Uh, but yeah, dude, I felt insulted by it. I mean, I'll go over the big things that really just fucking aggravated me about this chapter. The first thing, which is oddly one of the bigger things, is the fact that Naruto referred to Sakura as his girlfriend. I mean, Naruto, have you learnt fucking nothing? Fuck Sakura. You should have gone with Naruto, man. That... Like, I know it's, like, you know, just funny in that. But I feel like Kishimoto is kind of insulting us on this one. He leads us one way, then he leads us another. This ain't fucking Twilight. Everyone likes Sonata. No one fucking likes Sakura. Fuck that shit. Fucking Naruto is just... <sighs> Naruto is supposed to be the protagonist, and the protagonist is supposed to have some degree of intelligence. He should work out by now that Sakura's a bitch that treats him like shit. Fuck that. Like... In the real world, sh no, she... In the real world, everyone would say, Fuck you, Sakura. Like, honestly. Like, girls go to jail for what fucking Sakura does. And I know it's, like, supposed to be funny, but it's fucking not. It's not funny to me. And I know Kushina said that you should date someone who's like me. But Kushina didn't really take into account the fact that, you know... Naruto is like Kushina, so you can't have two Kushinas together, they just fucking fight all the time. You need a beat and a melody. And, you know, Naruto's the melody, and Anata's a beat. Sakura is a melody, she's fucking loud. Sasuke, despite being a cunt, is a beat. So, you know, it, it, it just got to my nerves how just thrown to the side Hinata was during that. I mean, this ain't some fucking Twilight shit. And, you know, the second thing that kind of annoyed me, but it wasn't a big deal, was the whole, when Hashidama showed up, you know, Madara, Madara was all like, I'm coming for you, and then, you know, Hashidama was like, yay, but I'll fight you later, and Madara got depressed, and then it was happy, and it was like, this is very unserious, I mean, you guys do realise, like, you know, the flashback, you guys were at each other's throat, we saw Madara when he was old, he was depressed as fuck. The entire world is at stake right now, and you two are just like, oh yeah, how's it going bro? Best friends? Best friends. Yeah, yeah, that kind of got to me. And the final thing that got to me was Sasuke. Like, I don't have any problems with Sasuke's decision, Hokage, that makes sense to me. What doesn't make sense to me is how fucking fast he got to this decision. I mean, he went through, through so much plot development, and what, fucking... Like, in real time, what's it been, like, a few minutes? Seriously, Sasuke was this angry Avenger. The last time he met, you know, Sakura and Naruto, he tried to kill them. Now he's like, I'm happy. Yay, yay, love, compassion. Fuck that shit. We needed some bracing into it. Even, like, Avatar The Last Airbender. If you remember Zuko, he became a good guy. But he got braced into it. We were, like, slowly weaned into seeing him become this good guy. And that only had, like... I can't remember, like, 50 episodes? What are we on now, like, Naruto 631? 
and still going and they just dump us right into Sasuke being good dude we need some like you know slow development that shit just happened way too fucking fast like fucking calm your farm <laughs> and well that was the things I disliked about the chapter as I said I did like Sasuke's decision and I did like the fact that Sasuke became good and the team 7 re like reunite reuniting all that shit was cool that was dandy that was fine but it happened too fucking fast. Sasuke, if if Kishimoto was planning this, Sasuke should have been slowly changing a long time ago. I mean, we should have noticed a change in him in some way. Because, you know, he's just changing so fast. And the thing is, the faster you are to change from one thing another to another, it just, like, equivalates to how fast you can revert back. So if it took really a long time for Sasuke to change, we'd know it's there for good. But the fact that he's just changed so fast is just him being painted another colour. I mean, it's like um, Itachi said, you know, he can be painted many colours. I mean, honestly, I, I, I honestly feel insulted by this chapter. And I know a lot of people disagree, and I'll probably get a lot of shit for saying that, but I'm just giving my honest opinion. And everyone's allowed an opinion, so don't take it as an insult. You can have your own opinion. I don't mind. You can talk about it. We can talk about it in the comments. It doesn't bother me that you disagree, but that's my thoughts. Well, I'll move on to, you know, what I really liked about the chapter now, because, yeah, <laughs> we need something good said. I mean, some people are calling this the best chapter of the year, and here I am just dissing the shit out of it. Okay, so what I liked. When Minato went into Biju mode, that shit was cool. That just shows how pro Minato is. I mean, he just instantly learned how to do that. That dude's a genius. And I know, like, you could argue, or not argue, you could actually say, I mean, it's kind of insinuated that, you know, the will of Kurama is no longer there. I mean, the hatred has been split. And even if the hatred was, or, like, Kurama's presence was still there, Kurama's kind of on Minato's side. So, you know... It's not like he had to fight Kurama to gain control or had Kurama affect him in any way, but it's still impressive. And how he kind of split his um, little kunai around the ten towels and did that super quick teleport and they did the um, awesome barrier thing. That was pretty awesome. And then of course Sasuke shows up and this was another bit that was pretty good. I mean everyone's reaction to Sasuke saying that he's going to be the, become the Hokage. I mean, it was just great. Even Akamaru was like, what? And, you know, I noticed that Naruto was the only one that kept the serious face there. You know, Naruto genuinely believed him and understood kind of why. And Sasuke as Hokage, he has a lot of validation for it, I think. I mean, if, like, as I said before, you know, he should have been weaned into this role that he's trying to fill now. Like, kind of being like the anti-hero as opposed to the Avenger fucking psycho weird cunt that he was. But, you know, I, I see him having a lot of potential because he wants to end all forms of hatred, so nothing... He doesn't want anyone to go through what his brother went through, and he wants to honour his brother. So through the love of his brother, he will do great things by the village. But his reason, his validation for becoming Hokage is selfish. It's one person. One person. You don't care about the village. You want to do good by the village because of one person. As opposed to Naruto, who wants to do good for the world. For the world. You know, like... Okay, that was obviously bad English. Don't blame me, I'm on drugs. <laughs> but yeah, you know... I just... That was that was good in a sense. And, um... The, the quote that came up was actually, um... Pretty relevant for once. It's... It's... Oh god, I can't read with my fucking eyes. The one who becomes Hokage is acknowledged... No, wait. It's not the one that becomes Hokage that is acknowledged by everyone, but the one who is acknowledged by everyone that becomes Hokage. And that's where I think Naruto has the edge on Sasuke. I mean, yeah. And another cool thing, the final cool thing, really, Team 7 going in to fight. I mean, sure... Sure, it happened so fast, and sure, Sakura is gonna do jack shit, and she'll probably get a random power up out of her ass, and still do jack shit. But it doesn't matter, cause that was cool. So all in all, a lot of people thought this was the best chapter ever. Me personally, I did not. I did not enjoy it very much at all. <laughs> but I still enjoy Naruto, and I'll continue watching. 
And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the chapter, at least better than I did. And right now I'm gonna go frickin' tear... <laughs> gonna go cry some blood out of my eyes. Like, it's not cry, but you know, water. Yeah, my eyes are screwed from surgery. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Oh, it's horrible. It's absolutely horrible. Like, um... I see double of everything, and everything's all blurry. And I just get headaches looking at things, but I have to keep both eyes open for them to, like, kind of heal properly, I've been told. And, yeah. Yeah, it's bad. <laughs> now I know how Sasuke felt when he had the bandages on, or every time he used Atemasteru, just bleeding from the eye. It's like, ugh. This is disgusting. <laughs> anyway, guys, um, I hope I didn't offend anyone too bad. I mean, we're all entitled to our own opinions, but, yeah. See you guys later.